the television I just got done repairing is an LED LCD TV made by Vizio. There is the model number. It happens to be the power supply board number right there. Well, this TV came in here pretty much dead. And one of the first things I like to do is check my power supply inputs and outputs. And uh, fortunately on this one, they listed a lot of the power supply voltages underneath the uh, plug-in harness here. And they didn't list all the voltages, but they had a few. So uh, I always like to make a list of what they're supposed to be versus what they are. And so one of the first things I noticed is I was missing a lot of voltages. For example, the, the voltages to drive my LEDs were missing. This column here in black is what they were. The one in the red is what I measured when I put a better power supply in it, or a working power supply. Anyway, um, I did have some of the voltages. It gets a little confusing when some of the voltages seem to work and uh, others don't. It's kind of hard to tell if the power supply has been switched on or not. Now, one of the strange things I noticed about this particular power supply was that I had 3.3 volts on the PS on terminal before even pushing the power button and that's not normal and so I jumped the gun and I assumed I had to have a bad main board because why else would the uh, PS on terminal have 3.3 volts on it so that kind of misled me I went ahead and got a new main board it's only like 25 bucks on eBay put it in still didn't fix it so I thought well possibly it could be the power supply or somebody sold me a bad main board that happens as a lot of you know anyway uh, went ahead and got a new power supply for it and uh, put it in it works great now I just thought I'd write down what the voltages were as a reference for some of you that might be working on this particular model this is on the good power supply I wrote down the, what the voltages were in red and uh, again the most notable thing was that PS on terminal that I wrote down in black here it was 3.3 volts before pushing the power button that that was a clue that something was off but uh, I misdiagnosed it anyway so all the voltages in red were what the uh, new power supply voltages should be this one was only 24.2 it was listed on the board itself as being 27 but uh, I don't see any problem there TV seems to be working fine now now one of the things I, I always like to do, I'm always showing off my little inductive probe here. And uh, I always like to lay this thing on the power supply. And listen to the power supply actually oscillating. And just to, then to, to push the power button to see if I hear any change. If I hear a change, that generally gives me a clue that my main board is, is sending an on signal to the power supply. And in this case, I didn't hear any change at all. and. Uh, you know, I thought about trying to troubleshoot this on a component level, but look at look at how they bury some of the components on here. They just got all this glue just piled on here and heck, when I see them on eBay for I think I paid like 23 bucks for the main board and 25 for the power supply. You couldn't beat it. Can't justify doing component level troubleshooting when it's that simple. So, anyway, there you have it. TV's working well now and uh again, there's the model number. That's my website on the top. By the way, if any of you feel so inclined that you'd like to donate to the cause here, there's my business address and my business name. I would certainly appreciate it. All right, I hope you enjoy the video. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up.